All right, good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome, Virgo. This is going to be your reading. All right, so I've just kind of been busy customizing my home, all right, and painting, peeling wallpaper, enjoying life, stuff like that. I do more readings um, when the weather gets cooler, all right, and more closer into winter because, you know, there is, really isn't a whole lot to do. Us tarot readers have to do the work and we have to have fun in life too, all right? Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to be... Uh, moving into the Patreon, all right? I've been focusing on getting that set up. and But I, I will still put a little content out for those that don't want to pay a monthly membership. But it's going to be really low. It's going to be like 5 to $10, depending on the tier, right? So for a whole month. And you get unlimited access to everything that I upload. All right, so whether you're a nature lover, tarot lover, whatever, or both, you have an option there. All right, but it's just... You can't, YouTube is getting too strict, all right? I mean, I do like the fact that they did eliminate, you know, the thumbs down button because that gets really annoying for a reader because, you know, they're just haters. And it's like, you know, why you got to do all that? Just scroll past, roll your eyes, do whatever you got to do, right? But there's always low bottom feeders. And it's like this way, if you want to see the real good videos, you're going to pay for them, all right? But you're going to have unlimited accesses or accesses, access. All right, so Virgo. All right, let's see what we got for Virgo. All right, let's do a few more shuffles here. All right, I'm getting two more shuffles and we'll get to it. I hope you guys are, you know, had a good summer. I'm not a big fan of the heat. That's why I always tell people like when they want to brag about, oh, I can't wait to, or I don't care, I'll burn in hell. And oh, I want to rule hell. And motherfucker, y'all can't even handle the goddamn heat out here. <laughs> How are you going to handle hell? So, I mean, it's just talk. It's all stupid nonsense. All right. So we have here the Four of Swords, Aquarius. All right. So you could be in your thoughts. All right. Just kind of taking some time out of your life, doing some thinking. <clears throat> wow. We do have the sun here with the Six of Swords. Wow. All right. So I feel like you're at peace in life. That's really what I'm getting here. Wow. Yeah. All right, you're on the road to success, Virgo. And your spirit guides are guiding you along the way. All right, they're helping to keep you from going into energy that isn't suited for you, that isn't good for you. <clears throat> You've had a positive renewal within your life. And it's because you took some time out here. All right, you laid things to rest is what I'm getting. And you moved forward in life. And you're on a positive journey here. All right, You've renewed yourself beautifully with the help of your spirit guides. All right, you've transitioned beautifully. All right. And transition is always key. All right, these are just general readings, obviously, here. Wow, we have here the Ten of Cups with the Chariot. All right, so, yeah. You're happy in life. All right, you brought balance into your life because I did see the Justice card here. So I feel like you're just focusing on saying positive things, things that have meaning, things that have truth, being fair in life, and just creating a good balance into your life, all right? So I feel like you're being gifted good karma, all right? And yeah, because you're renewing yourself, and the more you renew yourself, you renew everything about yourself, all right? Your passions, your emotions, your thoughts, everything, it's like... You're happy in life, all right? You are in the direction of ultimate fulfillment, all right? Where you are just emotionally happy. And it's like, and you're doing it. You're doing a wonderful job, Virgo, all right? Happy home, happy kids, happy life. If you don't have kids, it's just a happy life, happy home, all right? With where you're at, you're happy, all right, that sun card really brings out the positivity within you. All right, it's like you'll see people get gloomy on a gloomy day, but when the sun comes out, people's moods tend to shift, all right, in a more positive way. And it's like that's what you're doing. You're moving into a calmer time of your life where you just want peace of mind, where you just want peace. All right, it's about focusing on getting the proper rest which is key to a healthy mind. We have here the Ace of Wands. All right. 
wow, you're really renewing yourself. The more you renew yourself, the more creative you become and the more you start to understand where your passion lies in life. All right, because our passions are what fuel us a lot of times emotionally too. And it's like, you're just focusing on being that spark of light. All right, and you don't care what other people say. So you're being gifted a lot of opportunities here. All right. All right, let's get this wrapped up for Virgo. Yeah, this is an opportunity for you. All right, a beautiful opportunity. Stay strong, stay brave, stay confident. All right, and you shall receive. I feel like you get, a, like, it's not real huge opportunities. All right, but it's like, Spirit, I feel like, offers you things through your creative mind. All right? And it's like <clears throat> these little opportunities, these little offers that you're getting, it's like it's what's filling all these cups with the Ten of Cups here. All right? You're determined. You're unique, like the Queen of Wands. All right? Not a lot of people understand the Queen of Wands. All right? Because she's fueled by her passions, the things that bring out the creativity within her. And it's a, I don't give a shit type of a queen. I'm going to do me. All right. So opportunities coming in. All right. We do have the death card here. All right. So yeah, you're putting an end to the old and you're moving into this. All right. And I just see it as a beautiful shift happening in your life. It's like, a cycle is ending in your life. You're moving into a new one that's going to be filled with more harmony and bliss. All right, so maybe you're a little more negative a while back and you're shifting out of that and you're moving into a more positive attitude, a more harmonious, peaceful, zen-like energy here. All right, but it, you're putting an end, a double end to not being like that. All right, you have divine angels around you here with the temperance that are helping you. You have the star card here at the top. And it's like, yeah, I feel like you're just cutting your fucking losses and you're walking away from things, all right? But then your life rejuvenates, all right? So it's like you may have to cut your losses. You may have to cut people out. You may have to, you know, be more alone. But Virgo, you should do good with that. And it's like walking away from like attachments to the material world and just focusing on being a healer, healing yourself, helping to heal others, the earth, everything. All right. Oh, we have here the three of pen. We have here the knight of cups. Yeah. You're letting your intuition lead you. You're letting your heart lead you. You're not going to let your thoughts lead you. All right. We have here the three of pentacles. These came out with the three of pentacles. All right. The more you connect with your mind, body, and spirit, the more you start creating shifts in your life. All right, good shifts. And the shifts bring in good luck, good fortune, good things. Once you let go of attachment to the material realm is when spirit blesses you with that stuff because they know you can handle it without being greedy, that you appreciate it. All right, so it's like I see so much beautiful things being gifted to you for all the hard work that you've done. You're going to have a lot of options in life here. All right, and it's because you're balancing your priorities and you're letting what's not good. All right, you're reading any rocky, unstable foundations and getting your shit together here. Yeah, and you're going to succeed. The tower isn't always bad. It just depends on the other cards. All right, so Virgo, you're pretty much creating a huge shift in your life and it's going to benefit you. All right, but don't do it to benefit you and what you can get out of it because that's when it's going to backfire. All right, you have to do it because you know that that's what's best for yourself, your family, your friends, your children, and the collective. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, loves. Have a good day.